Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and I've got another tricky question for you today. And this is a stats question from madassmaths.com. Check out the website, it's absolutely fantastic. This has a little bit of pure in it as well, uh, so I thought it'd be good for um, Applied Paper Free, which is coming up on Thursday. Okay, uh, right, let's get into it. So, um, this is like a, um, um, uh, like a recursive sequence um, because what we have here is we have that the probability of the uh, of the x, which is the distribution, being equal to uh, r plus one, is related to the probability um, of uh, x being r. Uh, in fact, it's two thirds of that. So what that means is is that the next probability along is two thirds the previous probability, and that is going to be the case for all r. Um, from 1 all the way up until, well, infinity. Okay, um, so how we, how we, how, what does that, what does that mean? What does it mean? Well, perhaps it'll be easier to understand rather than in a, a mass function like this as a distribution table uh, that we're kind of a little bit more used to seeing. So we'll put r here and we'll say the probability that x equals r here. Um, now, the first probability, so when um, r is equal to 1, well, I'm not really sure what that is. We don't really get any hints about what that is. All we know is that the probability afterwards will be two-thirds of the one previous. So let's call the first probability just k um, and see where we go. So the next um, probability, um, when r is 2, is going to equal two-thirds of when r was 1. So this is going to be 2 thirds of k. And then the next probability, when r is 3, is going to be 2 thirds of that. So that will be 4 ninths k. And the next one along will be 2 thirds of that, of course. So that will be um, uh, 8 over 27 k. Uh, and then we'll do one more. Uh, when r is 5, be two thirds of this, so it'll be 16 over 81 k. And this is just going to carry on and on and on and on, like so. Okay, um, so what else do we know about a probability distribution table like this? What is like the fundamental rule that we use pretty much every time we see um, a discrete random variable distribution like this? Well, that is, of course, that the sum of the probabilities, starting with the first one, is going to equal 1 up until however many probabilities they are, and let's say it's n. Um, well, in this instance, um, there isn't a fixed number of probabilities. In fact, we're going to be summing up to infinity because there's an infinite number of probabilities here. This is going to carry on and on and on and on. So how do we sum up to infinity? Well. We do have a little method for that, don't we? If that sequence happens to be geometric. And I'm pretty sure this one is, because to go from one to the next, we multiply by two thirds, which makes two thirds our common ratio. So we can say that the sum to infinity is equal to a over 1 minus r, as we know from pure maths. a is the first term, which we called k, and r is the common ratio, which is 2 thirds. So this summation is equal to um, k over 1 minus 2 thirds, which is equal to k over 1 third, which is equal to 3k. And what did we say that the sum was equal to? Well, of course, it's equal to 1, because we know that when we add up all the probabilities, it will equal 1. So therefore, we get that k is equal to 1 third. OK, great. Let's box that up. And then we can answer our question. Um, so what is what we're looking for here is we're looking for the probability that x is between 2 and 4 inclusive. So 2, 3, and 4 will do the job. So it'll be this one, this one, and this one. Uh, and of course, we can have any one of those. So either or 
So an or means we're going to add the probabilities together uh, because any of those will give us success. Okay, so this is going to equal uh, 2 thirds k plus 4 ninths k plus 8 over 27 k. Uh, and let me just add that up. And that gives us um, 38 over 27. Just did that in my head. How impressive was that, eh? <laughs> uh, okay, now, oh, that's good because we, we know K, so we are good to go. And that will be job done once we've just multiplied through by K. Right, I hope you found that helpful. I thought it was quite an interesting question. And if you want to see me do more interesting questions on stats and mechanics before your paper free exam on Thursday, then I recommend in the description purchasing my live session recording where I would do three hours with um, 28 questions, two papers, full written solutions, full video solutions to any question we don't finish in the three hours. Loads of good five star ratings. It's quality basically, it's absolutely quality. Anyway, check it out for yourself and I'll see you tomorrow for one more tricky question. Bye for now.